Okay, so it was the night of Halloween. Well, uh, no, it wasn't. It was the night before Halloween. Well, no, it wasn't. I mean, the night before Halloween was school. Sorry, pumpkin. And the night of Halloween, I'd be going trick or treat. So, thus, it would be the weekend of Hall before Halloween. And before we get into the story, you must know that this, I've remembered the story for years and years to come. So I was, I got this costume, it was like a doctor costume. Oh yeah, still a weekend before. So doctor costume, and it was like a bloody doctor. And then it's going to be kind of funny. So we, I went to this like, Boy Scouts, except it was like Cub Scouts for like the little ones. I was pretty young back then. So in, in that building is where um, the tragic event of the pole happened. So there were like little games, you know, like little hats. And then like there were little games like, you know, where you throw that ball into the little thingy, you know, you throw the ball into, like, the holes, and then 50, 100 points, but that that's not what anybody cared about. The big attraction, this was, like, in some church, because I guess they need to, like, rent out room, and the, so they just used a church or something. Anyways, so, there was this, I know, I, you probably can't tell, but that's a clothesline. Clothesline. Where you normally hang clothes. Which weigh like less than a pound. But they were hanging these strings tied to the top pole with donuts. And could, and you had to like put your hands behind your back and jump up and try to eat that donut. So at the time I probably wasn't thinking how dangerous this might be. So right away I ran right into the front of the line. And there were, like, a bunch of people behind me, you know? They had, like, other costumes. But anyways, I had this, like, doctor costume. Yeah, the first one is me, of course. Because donuts, who wouldn't want donuts? And, you know, yeah, and I, I, by the way, I'm not, I'm not a girl. I just didn't finish my hair on that one. And I had, like, this little doctor patch. Anyways... There was, like, some other kid with, like, an It costume. I don't even know if the movie came out. Probably just from, like, the trailer or something. So, anyways, zoom up. I got to the line. I got to the clothes rack. It, it was the the big deal. I, I finally got it. I got, like, one of the biggest donuts. And then the pole attacked. So... There weren't many donuts left by the time I had got there, because I was first in line, but there were other groups before me. So, I obviously went for the biggest donut. And so I was just munching away my little happy self. What was I? Eight? Seven? Whatever. And then... Kapow, bibbly boppity boom. Bam. Right? Bam? Yeah. Bam. You might be thinking, what could happen? It's just like a donut, right? No, it's not just a donut. The whole clothesline, the whole top frame, fell off the side frames. And guess where it landed? On my head. R remember, I, I'm, I'm like seven. 
and then the whole thing just comes tumbling upon my head. Well, my face. And I was like, ah, blah, blah, blah. like crying and whatnot. And then, well, I guess, no, it wasn't my head. I guess that's a little more dramatic. It was my nose. See, I tried to draw a nose there, but, but so I just stood up and looked up in terror as a towering pole fell upon me and my pig nose. Oh shoot, I look like a pig now. Wait, what? Yeah, I get rid of that. And fell on my nose. Kapow. And it was such an impact that my nose started bleeding. And then, like, some lady, she went, Oh, did, did you trip? No, I, I am a sophisticated seven-year-old. Why, why would I trip? I, 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 don't, I don't trip. I get kapowie by evil pole. So, anyways, my, my nose was bleeding. And n nobody really cared. And then I was, there was just blood trickling down. But, you know, I went, there was a sink in the back, like, like all churches have. Because, I guess that's what churches do. And then, they put the pole back up. And I started doing the same thing. Like, nothing had happened. So, yeah, I, I just put my head into the sink. Or my face and then poof, poof. then uh, this is a little drastic my mom's just holding me above the sink and then that was it I then I went home bye bye and never to come back again like for part two because I have other pool accidents because they were evil. Bye. So, thanks for watching. And if you really got all the way here to the end, I.